Look, I haven't been out of the house properly, apart from a park walk in like two weeks. So when I knew I was coming here to do this with you, it was an excuse to get the hairspray out, put a bit of powder on the face and, and a nice jacket. But this is my night out. This is what it's come to. <laughs> Hi, Anne. I'm Riyadh. Hi, yeah, it's Riyadh. Hello, what's going on? It's Riyadh here. My name is Riyadh Kalaf. I'm an author, broadcaster, dude off the internet and LGBT advocate. Happy St. Patrick's Day, one and all. Wear green, drink a pint of the black stuff and have a dance. Hey Google, play Lord of the Dance on Spotify. So last St. Patrick's Day just seems like a world away. I've had a lovely pair of silky green pajamas and it felt like the right thing to do to badly Irish dance in front of my camera and make an absolute fool of myself. Happy Paddy's Day! It was an unofficial audition for Strictly Come Dancing. Call me, call me. When lockdown first came in, I had just one master chef. Nobody knew that that had just happened. So I had this little fun secret and Boris came on the telly, said what he said. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I will master chef. And I was like, come on, let's celebrate. But I think as time wore on and the batteries faded, it's been a year of ups and downs. It's been, you know, realigning for myself what's important. I took up running, you know, I, I am really bad at running and I was huffing and puffing at, you know, two kilometers in and then after a couple of months I was running 12, 14 kilometers. Like, who am I? And I look at these tiny little legs. <laughs> these little tiny legs took me that far, that fast. Oh, and I took up the violin as well. So all of these things that I would never bother to do because I was always so busy. Oh, no, no time for running or violin. I, I've been able to give it that time. I think being um, an Irish person in London during this time has been really, really hard. I'm not going to lie, you know, you feel like your identity is, is slowly being torn from you because you haven't got that kind of monthly or bi-monthly sort of recharge back home. When I get home, as soon as I get off the plane, the Irish accent kind of steps up a notch, not because it's, it's a conscious thing, just because when you're around it, it just sort of goes, oh, here I am. And I love that. I know I'm only a 50 minute flight away from Dublin, but it might as well be a hundred million miles. It's been taking away a lot of the clutter, a lot of the noise and anxiety of a fast paced London life. And it's sort of helped me to restart. What do I really want to do? Life is short. And at the end of this, what's the plan? And the plan is go on the holiday, have that extra beer. You know, you want to go home for the weekend and it's going to cost you half your month's rent to get there. Go, just do it. <laughs>